Hey everyone, welcome back to Marvel Characters Explained. Heroes and villains that no one asked for, but we're still doing them anyways. Before we get started, I do want to say I messed up. I pronounced the city wrong the whole time. It's supposed to be Adelon, not Atelian. So, yeah. And I said it kind of throughout the whole video. But, due to me not being big-brained, didn't catch it. And I'm not re-editing this. So, let's get started. <laughs> Hey everyone, Oddball Comics here. So today we're going to talk about Crystallia Amaquillen, or better known as Crystal. Crystal is an inhuman introduced in Fantastic Four issue number 45 in December of 1965, and was created by the legendary duo Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. But before we go any farther, what's an inhuman? Well, an inhuman is a subspecies of humanity who develops superhuman abilities from the Terrigen Mist due to genetic modifications from the Kree. Crystal is known to be able to use all four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, kind of like our favorite airbender. Crystal is the first character to be identified as inhuman and thus makes her a very important character to the lore of inhumans themselves. She is also a princess of the inhuman royal family and sister of Medusa, queen of the inhumans. Crystal and the rest of the humans lived in the hidden land of Attilan, until her and the royal family was exiled by the supervillain known as Maximus. Her first ever encounter into the outside world, she ran into the Human Torch, where she showed him the Inhuman's secret base in New York. Eventually, Crystal would join the Fantastic Four as a member for a very short period of time, but in the meanwhile, helped them beat Maximus and several other villains, including Doctor Doom. It was later revealed that she had rescued Quicksilver while he was close to death, and what came out of this is that she ended up marrying him, and she later gave birth to their daughter, Luna, and he ended up accompanying Luna and the Inhumans when Atelian was relocated to Earth's moon. But during this time, when the Inhumans lived on the moon, Crystal defied the power structure of her society and fled with many Inhumans to an isolated part of Earth. Quicksilver and Crystal end up having a rocky marriage, all in all, but Pietro has always had a quick temper and Crystal had once even had an affair with a real estate agent named Norman Webster. At one point, Crystal summoned the Avengers to help them battle the Brethren. Soon after, she joined the Avengers as a provisional member, but shortly after that, she became a full-fledged Avenger. And after the events of the House of M storyline, where the Scarlet Witch went crazy and warped reality, Crystal was reunited with her depowered husband, only for him to steal the Terrigen Mist from Attilan and attempt to use it to restore the depowered mutants. He also ended up kidnapping Luna and exposed her to the Mist, granting her various abilities. When the Inhumans located Quicksilver, he allowed Black Bolt to beat him in response to his betrayal, making Crystal and Quicksilver's marriage officially annulled. But during the Secret Invasion storyline, Crystal and her sister Medusa are called upon by Iron Man to a meeting where he reveals that Black Bolt has been replaced by a Skrull. After an attack on Attilan by the Skrulls, the royal family traveled into Kree space, seeking an alliance against the invading Skrulls. Ronan the Accuser welcomes this alliance, but only on one condition, that Crystal becomes his bride. Medusa ends up agreeing to this without really Crystal's consent, and in an attempt to crack the Skrull communication network, the Inhumans end up splitting up Crystal and the Medusa to infiltrate Thundra's tribe to negotiate for the release of the captured Skrull communications officer, enabling them to track down Black Bolt's prison. Crystal's marriage to Ronan proceeds, even following Black Bolt's decision to throw the throne of the Kree. She comes to accept the idea of marriage though, defending it to her sister-in-law, Polaris, as a matter of statecraft. The wedding proceedings are interrupted by a Shi'ar Imperial Guard, who attack as a part of the Emperor Vulcan's invasion of the Kree Imperium. And at this point, Ronan is nearly beaten to death. While visiting Ronan in his recuperation, Crystal inadvertently helps rally the Kree people when she shows compassion towards a ward filled with injured Kree commoners, acts which, thanks to her sister-in-law Polaris, were eventually broadcasted over the Kree networks, and this has led to her being referred to as the People's Princess among some of the Kree people. All in all, Crystal is a relatively old character with a lot of her history intertwined to a few big events in the Marvel Universe. If you're interested in reading more about her, I recommend reading the Secret Invasion storyline along with the War of Kings event as well. She's been in actually a lot of Marvel TV shows, including more recent shows like Guardians of the Galaxy, Hulk and the Agents of Smash, 
and even a 1978 version of the Fantastic Four cartoon with an episode titled Medusa and the Inhumans. Alright guys, what do you think about her? Like her? Love her? Hate her? Is there something I didn't cover? Tell me in, in the comments down below. But other than that, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. See ya!